As you know, I'm on a journey to loop the planet using a rowing boat, a bike and a kayak. Though she's thousands of miles away on her latest expedition, Sarah Ooten is taking part in an assembly with fascinated children at Barkston and Syston Primary School in Lincolnshire. I've now travelled through 14 countries. The Rutland adventurer is currently cycling across Northern America as part of her challenge to travel around the world human-powered. The charity Inspire Plus has asked her to become an ambassador. Her journey is now being told in schools as part of the geography and science curriculum. Does anyone know what the three forms of transport are that she's using? People have just been blown away by um, like sort of the scale of what she's doing and that she's doing it single-handedly and she's just doing it to be the best that she can be and that's a really important thing for the children to go and do whatever they can to the best of their ability. The Inspire Plus team has visited 37 schools in Lincolnshire so far. That's around 20,000 children learning all about Sarah's journey and being inspired to have their own adventures too. As soon as I heard of her, I thought, mm, she, she's quite good. She's travelling around the world and doing it for charity. I thought, I could probably, I could probably be a tiny bit like her push myself like her to the limits. You wouldn't really imagine anyone going around the whole world using body power. When I do horse riding, it's really cold. And she inspires me to like keep going on. Sarah's London to London challenge has seen her kayak to France, cycle across Europe and the Far East, twice attempt to row the Pacific Ocean, the first time having to be rescued from a tropical storm, and cycle across Canada and America. She's currently in Chicago, en route to New York. That's the thing that kind of keeps you going when the chips are down and um, just to sort of hear those little voices shouting, Hello, Sarah! <laughs> it's really cool seeing them so excited by the journey and their own challenges. And it's something I'm really looking forward to getting involved with more when I get back home after this adventure. And that should be around October time this year. Sarah just has the not-so-mean feat of rowing the Atlantic Ocean first, the final part of her remarkable expedition. Sarah Teal, BBC East Midlands Today.